He's he's moving slow. It's a little hot oh, today. Oh, I know. Aren't you, buddy? Oh, it's hot outside. We need to be in the water. I'm Randy Jones, and behind me is the Woody line. All right, <laughs> this is the Woody house. 59.9? Yeah. 10 by 24. 24 foot long. This is part two of our Woody line series. So we're going to be bringing to you as we build these. We got a couple more we're going to be framing, putting yes. them together. This was a custom home that we did. We got to sell the first one out, get to get you guys to see what this thing looks like. This is a massive, massive, great deal, everybody. This is a 59.9, 240 square feet plus the uh, the uh, the loft inside. Yeah. All right. We've added a couple things. This is a fully off grid home. It's got a big bay window, twenty five hundred dollars. You want a bay window on it? It's got a big tongue box. If you choose to have the tongue box, the bay window, staining on the outside and painted or polyurethane on the inside, you tack on another thirteen thousand yeah. dollars to this thing. But this house is built fifty nine nine, ready to live in, sleep, ready to go, everything you need, mini split, everything. Right. We try to help you out with some money and pricing by you doing some of the work yourself. Yes. You can stain this house yourself. You don't necessarily need a tongue box. If you're permanently set up, you got a shed. You may have a garage or a carport, right? This is for the off-grid. If you want that tongue box, we can do that. But if you want to sustain it, tongue box and a bay window and stain, uh, paint, right? Or polyurethane or the, or the combination of two inside, we'll do all that for you for 13,000. All right, this is part two of, of our Woody Line series. We wanted to bring to you again and show you this beautiful roof line like I got. It's a little modern, it's a cottage. We throw a lot of wood in it. It's throwing the architecture of not just your traditional gable and it gives it more volume inside. And I like this whole look. It is a, an assembly line home. We haven't done it yet, but that's yeah. what we're looking at is an almost assembly line where we can pump these things out. That's why we're bringing that price down and bring in the savings to you well, guys. Well, and one of the reasons that you even uh, created this or even brought it up, you had people saying, I miss the wood because we have the Incredible boxes. that's the steel foam panels yeah. and stuff, the, the cell phone, I mean, the cell phone. I wanted the wood, yeah. And then we have the model homes, which are wood homes, but they have the- uh, Painted siding. The painted siding. The so we had people who were really craving that wood. They love the wood smell, they love the wood feel. It's just a warm home, tiny right. home. We love building with wood love as carpenters, wood. we do. Yep. Um, so this is part of bringing that nostalgic, yep. tiny home, all wood home, and the cost stop. Where can you go for 59.9? Oh, get it with a mini split yep. of farm style sink, gooseneck faucet, staircase inside, mm -hmm. 10 by 20, 10 by 24 I know. trailer home. Okay, so there you got it. Come on inside. Let me show you again a little bit what's going on. Of course, you guys can see we do have an outside water spigot. We got an outside plugs, underneath our plugs, just like we do on all of our homes. Let me help you up here. Yep. Ah. Thank you. All right, as soon as you come in. Oh my God, smell the wood. Smell Gosh. the wood. Is this a lot of, enough light so you can is see? It, is it plugged up? No. Oh, okay. No, can you see me fine. okay? It's, all right. It's dark, but so it'll be all right. As soon as you come in, of course, let me open this door for you just to show you the kind of the flow. You come in and you can come into your kitchen, of course, yeah. right? Here's your lights. But what I like is the staircase. There you go. Your staircase goes up to your bedroom. It's not out in the living room. It's not making your bedroom, your bathroom any smaller. And look at this hallway. Yes. You're talking about wheelchair, walker, mm -hmm. two people, whatever you need. You've got ample room to walk in between the bathroom and the kitchen. And then after you get out here, it's all living room. Over a hundred square feet yeah, just here in the living room. That. Now what makes this living room look so cool is this bay window. Yes. All right, this is a massive bay window. If you want this bay window and you want it stained and painted and all that, like I said, we can do all that for you, but this home does not come with this bay window. Right. If you like, inquire about it. Yep. You know, Amanda, Amanda, I think I made a mistake. This bay window is 2,500 on the Incredibox. On the Incredibox, I was glad Not on here. That. As yes. you guys can see, you see how it's all trimmed out and prettied and done in the seat? That's 3,500 here. Yes. It's a lot more work for us. Glad you said that. On the that. Incredibox, it's 25, these are 35. If you want it individually, but mm -hmm. if you're gonna want this, the tongue box, 
It's stained on the outside, painted or polyed on the inside. 13,000 on top of the 59.9. Yeah. Okay. Still. Was it 72, 73,000 dollars? Yeah. For 10 by 24. Yes. All right. Washer and dryer. I know people are saying, "Hey, washer and dryer in the living room, you can't put it in the bedroom, I mean the bathroom because you take have to take out the toilet mm -hmm. if you ever need to repair it." Now, we're going to put a door here. Yeah. So you won't sit. All right? It's a great spot because you got a lot of room to get to it, all right? Traffic area. You can put it. Um, this is this is for the solar. Yeah. All right. Mini split. And two we can slides. add solar onto anything that we have. Yeah. I don't want to take a lot of time because this is sure. this it's is showing. part two. Mm -hmm. Wanted to show you. We well, you'd have the doors, and that's what the doors will be on the washer and dryer. Be over there too. Yep. This is a beautiful. I like this as a pantry. Yeah. Sure. And then I even told somebody this is another closet pantry, but you can hang clothes in here. Yeah, absolutely. This is our first home with this much storage. Yeah. We got two and closets. This closes over too. Yes. You got two closets. Now, because this is an off-grid home, the water heater would normally have went under there. Okay. So, so now this is storage, and the, the owners have swapped this storage for the one that's in the bathroom. Okay. In the bathroom, this water heater would not have been here, right? right. Because we have electric water heater under the stairs. Mm -hmm. So this wouldn't be here. And you got another closet. Yes. So this is the third closet in this house. Right. Three, man. Three closets in a tiny home. Yeah. And then... Um, of course, your toilet will go here, your vanity go there, 36-inch shower, and then the storage beside the shower, here, you guys can put, of course, all your toiletries, toilet paper, towels, sure, whatever towels, you need. towels, things like that. So, you know, I'm just thinking this. Of all the homes we built, over 2,000 homes we built in the eight, nine years we've been in business. Yes. This home <clears throat> has finally, I think, come together and brought all... Amanda, I'm talking about all the amenities into this one. Yeah, I And agree. the reason this is, is you have a mini split, you have a large enough bathroom that can be navigated in a walker mm -hmm. or feels big, even if you don't have that. Yes. We have a lot of folks that ha have, who, who need assistance, right? Mm -hmm. The door's wide enough. And if you don't need it wide enough, it's just feels big. It does feel you don't, bigger. You've got an entryway. Let's say you've got nasty boots and stuff. You're not coming in the living room. Right. You're coming right here. Kick it off. You could actually make this a little mud room right, right. here, right? Mm -hmm. you got enough kitchen with a stovetop, range hood, microwave, farm style sink, gooseneck faucet, and then the closets. This is put together all the homes that we built, all the ideas, and I love it because we have put the staircase in the back and you still have a full-blown loft bedroom upstairs. Yep, absolutely. So you can just go upstairs and look, you guys can grab this right here, all the way up, pull, and the size of this loft is crazy. You can put a king-size mattress up here, all the light, you've got double egress windows, and then you've got the natural light coming in where the two roof lines are. Yes. Right? This is <sighs> nice. This is amazing. This house to me has it all. Now, if you want us to paint, poly the trim, give us a call. We can add that package to it if you'd like. But this is a 59.9. If you want a bare Airbnb, this is a way to do it. Yeah. Your heating and air system, all the cool air comes up through here, right? Heating and air. Mm -hmm. You've got sleeping up here. You got a uh, pull out sofa downstairs. This will sleep four. I don't know where you're going to go and get this size home for 59.9. Right on an Airbnb that could probably rent for 150, 200 bucks a night, depending all on where wood. you're at. All wood, and it's all wood, It's It is certified, all wood, insulated, Look at spray the ceiling, foam. that's beadboard. That's pretty. I can't believe I'm talking this much. There's just so much to there this house. There is so much. And I'm excited about it, everybody. This is, I know this house anywhere for any builder to do this thing. You're, I mean, you've got to be looking at close into the 80s. Mm -hmm. And this is 59.9. Yeah, what a deal. Yeah, even if you don't have a place to put this sucker, I'd buy it and put it in storage mm -hmm. somewhere Something. because you're going to need it. You're going to need it for a family member. Buy it and resell it. You know, there's not a uh, anybody in any family that I, I'm aware of that could not use a tiny home. Everybody, somebody in the family can Always. use a tiny home. Your yes. kids, your parents, mm -hmm. the cousins, your family member, a That's friend. Right. Yeah, all of them. Everybody, thank you for watching. This is this is our Woody Line.
part two series. We'll be bringing it to you next week. We start framing in another Woody line, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to start hitting them. I think we've got six or seven on the books to build. Mm -hmm. And I would act fast as you can because you know what? We're halfway through this year. If you want your Woody line this year, please order now before Labor Day. Yep. Inflation's going up. I don't want to say we're going up on price or anything, but we just don't know the future. So if you guys want in on here, we're trying to sell out this year. Let's get it done by Labor Day. Yep. And we got a clean sale right on in through the next year. That's right. All right. So if you've been thinking about it, don't hesitate. And remember, we do have some financing, about $24,000 if you want to finance it. Mm -hmm. We'll take $5,000 down, $500 a month. But, but just apply on really, line. the down payment's more because we can only take twenty four thousand off of the fifty nine nine, right. and we'll help you finance that. All okay. right. We. Whew, I know. We're doing everything. We are. All right, buddy. Thank you. Give us your comments. Yes. And uh, hope you enjoy the Woody line. Send this to somebody you think might need it. Yeah, and if the house, if this house doesn't lo uh, leave too too soon after I get the uh, Incredit Cottage done decorated, I'm gonna try and decorate this. So. Beautiful. Yeah, that'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Look here, Amanda. There's even Show room. Me. Look, there's even room to do. Look. Boom. <laughs> Your push-ups. Here, we're going to do 80. Go. We're going to do 80. You're going to do 80? Well, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>